The Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has refused to commit to reducing net migration in the United Kingdom. The government have also confirmed their U-turn on house building. And we're going to give you the latest update on the issue of foreign students coming into the country. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the channel that challenges the mainstream media and the political establishment from the left-wing nutters to the globalist elite. Okay, so today's first show is all about government U-turns and government, well, the betrayal of this country by the, the so-called conservative government that is literally nothing conservative about them at this point. Uh, we also have a couple of other news shows uh, today at 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. UK time. So if you enjoyed this video at the end, make sure to like and share to help uh, increase our reach and help uh, grow independent media. All right, let's get on with the show. First things first, we're going to talk about uh, the Prime Minister is gone abroad uh, to, to, to attend the G7 summit again. And uh, he was asked by certain journalists uh, on the way there, on the plane, during the flight uh, three times, the Prime Minister refused to recommit to reducing migration into the United Kingdom. And at the same time, he kept giving his usual excuses, saying, well, we actually need uh, uh, economic migration. Uh, this is not the issue of illegal migration. This is not about uh, the small boats issue, because he's still going to be trying to politically win that. So he could come out and say, hey, we fixed the issue of the small boats, illegal migration. But we've gone beyond that now. We are now talking about net migration. We are now talking about mass migration. It's not just about the legal migration, but it's also about uh, economic migration, legal uh, legal routes as well. Uh, the government and the successive governments in this country have been addicted to economic migration in order to fix the problems of the country instead of uh, training our own people and focusing on our own priorities first. So this is an excuse. But the Home Secretary, Suella Bradman, is kicking off uh, and there's a battle between her and, and Jeremy Hunt, the Chancellor. And all this stuff that's happening right now feels like they are trying to push Suella out of government. Because she's not too happy about what's going on. She's been clashing with the cabinet and she's getting frustrated uh, because um, obviously her rhetoric and the speeches she's made recently, uh, it doesn't go with the same line uh, as uh, the government, especially Jeremy Hunt. We are going to be talking about Jeremy Hunt later tonight as well uh, and what, what he's doing, his agenda essentially, because it is slightly uh, destructive when it comes to the cabinet unity or the generally speaking Tory unity that uh, Rishi Sunak and Jeremy Hunt promised when uh, Rishi uh, successfully uh, came into power after a allegedly a coup, let's just say allegedly. And uh, now we have this problem where the government are completely turning it back on their own 2019 pledges and the manifesto. So everything that Boris Johnson was trying to do uh, came completely out of the window now. And even though they picked the Home Secretary who is conservative, Suala Bradman, they're not allowing her to do her job. So what's the point of having her in the first place? It was for political reasons to keep the right wing of the party slightly quiet for a, for a bit but now things are kicking off we've got the different wings of the party having their own conferences the the conservative democratic organization did their conference then we had the national conservatism conference these are all basically against the tory cabinet uh, so but rishi sunak who's going around uh, obviously to g7 but even last week a few days ago uh, he was uh, he went to iceland to hang out with ursula and all the others uh, he thought that he could go and negotiate with the European Union and the European judges, ECHR. He thinks that he can get things done by creating new consensus. It, this is not going to happen. The statists, the globalist statists, they're not going to change their mind if a mini prime minister goes uh, on a visit and say, well, I'm here on behalf of our country. Can we have a chat? They don't care. They have their own priorities. They have their own protectionist club. And you have to follow their rules. That's how it works. So you have to completely withdraw from that sort of relationship. The government are completely making U-turns left, right and centre. Now, this one is about house building. So there's a massive issue because of mass migration and because of uh, various other issues as well, local planning systems, there's no house building properly. What, what happens instead is the house building that is occurring right now is essentially alienating a lot of local people. And it's not, and it's not just about the green belt issue. It's also about... Uh, and concentrating 
uh, everything in one corner in, in 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 different corners of the country so when they try to do house building they are alienating people and in places where they can do and the house buildings should be for british people first those houses end up going to foreigners whether it's the rich foreign investors from russia or china buying apartments and flats in london or housing migrants and it's absolutely chaotic so it's not really helping any situation but now they made a u-turn so the prime minister has come out to say well i mean he thinks he's going to pander to a certain type that is not going to vote for him anyway he says i'm going to in, in the name of green belt he says i'm not going to do house building he says but he's going to try and do it without doing it <laughs> he's sitting on the fence I was very clear over the summer that I wanted to make sure our green spaces are protected. I think that is what local communities want. You think? <laughs> At the same time, we have empowered local communities with local plans. What I find is that it's not necessarily an opposition to, house, to housing itself. It's how and where exactly it is done and the infrastructure that comes alongside it. It makes absolutely no sense. This is literally fence uh, sitting and the places where you you can build and it's not necessarily a green belt, you're not doing it. And in places where you shouldn't build, <laughs> you're completely alienating the, the public and the houses don't really go to the young British people. Ironically, this is, the problem is also with the young British people who end up voting more or more liberal leaning and left wing leaning. And then they are the ones who say all migrants are welcome here. So the, the young people who are frustrated that we're not doing house building for them, well, it's because you keep advocating for more migrants to come into the country. <laughs> so there has to be a big debate about NIMBY versus YIMBY and some sort of consensus. So NIMBY, YIMBY is not in my backyard, yes, in my backyard types. Uh, these two tribe, uh, tribes, they, there has to be some sort of consensus, some sort of balance, nuance. But we're not going to get any of that in the current political climate. So that's the situation with that. Even though Michael Gove, when on the stage at the National Conservatism Conference saying we are still absolutely committed to more houses. What? Who is in charge? <laughs> Nobody knows. Nobody knows. At least there is consensus when it comes to the general agenda. Now, this is about the issue of, again, mass migration, addiction to economic migration and addiction to international students. Student visas. Foreigners who come here pay a lot of money to come to our universities and our universities and our governments are now addicted to it because it's free money. They're taking, obviously, the, the spaces of uh, British people and essentially what we are doing right now is we're not training up our people so we, get, we go to economic migration as a solution to bring in foreign workers for anything, skilled and unskilled. But then when it comes to training up, our, training up people, we're still actually training up foreigners. So we are prioritizing international students. It makes absolutely no sense. So we have Gillian Keegan, Education Secretary, coming out to say that she's absolutely hugely proud of the 600,000 foreign students coming into the UK every single year. And you think, if you think this is bad, <laughs> we've got some more updates for you guys. It gets worse. The Department of Education have said, made it clear, that this 600,000 people is not a one-year target, but is designed to be delivered every year because of the claimed benefits for economic growth and international relations. Oh, really? Okay, sure, I, I believe you. So it makes no sense why, for example, when, when we have this situation, like going back to this, um, we know that net migration is going to hit close to a million, but at the same time, they have no sense of awareness of what the mood in the country is. So she said, Keegan, I'm hugely proud that we are welcoming more than 600,000 international students every year. International education is popular. Of course it is. It makes us all richer. Oh, really, it's all about money, isn't it? We all benefit as we build partnerships and lasting bonds. That's something we value hugely. We are proud that the UK remains a destination of choice for so many students with four out of the top 10 universities in the world that the UK's higher education sector is truly world class. In fact, 55 current world leaders were educated right here in the UK. So we are basically training up dictators. <laughs> it happens all the time, by the way. So the department came and said that the 600,000 every year is not a speed limit. It is not capping. It's going over that threshold as there are economic benefits and they return home. 
Oh, really? Okay. So that's... Oh. No, they don't. That's that's also a big issue. And if they do, then they use it against us. And I'm not just complete. I'm, I know I'm generalizing all foreign students, but we've seen what happened in the past. So they admit not only they're proud of it, but it's not really a ceiling. They want to go higher and higher and higher. And we have to just shut up and get on with it. We have uh, Andrew Jenkins from uh, the Tory backbenchers. She's a conservative member of the Tory party saying, uh, that she was invited to some October meeting on this issue, on the, the issue of education. She said, I was invited to the October meeting. However, it was cancelled and rearranged without my knowledge. If I was there, I would have agreed with the Home Secretary that it is vital to reduce overall numbers of immigration. The Home Secretary was correct to bring up the fact that we are meeting our overseas student visa target eight years early. And there, are, and there should be no scope to go beyond this already significant number. So Suella and Jenkins and these guys and Jacob rees they want to stop this now, but they're not allowed because they're not really in charge. It's people like Jeremy Hunt and Rishi Sunak and the big party donors. And this makes absolutely no sense. So I'm going to create some sort of a, a countdown at this point because I don't think... Suella Bradman is going to survive that long in this cabinet. They're either going to push her out or she's going to resign. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Uh, we're also going to, I'm going to launch a new campaign for you guys uh, because we I believe we are getting close to 300,000 subscribers on this channel. I've already booked a venue. We're going to celebrate together, but I need your help. If, if a few of you get together, well, not together together, but uh, get this channel to grow, to help me introduce this channel to one or two people, whether it's your relatives or family members or neighbors or friends that you have, I think we can hit 300,000 subscribers by this summer. If you, if you could do that, then I'm, I'm gonna throw a big party, invite all of you if you can attend, and then we could hang out together and discuss all the important issues and get your feedback on the channel and everything else. So make sure you get everybody that you know to subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya TC, and we are the media.